Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. So, I've been looking around for another new pair of boots because I wore loggers and Carolinas and a pair of Chippewas. So, you don't want the most bang for your buck. And more expensive is not always better. So, I looked some boots up, and our setters had really good reviews on them. So, at our local store, uh, Shoe Show, I found these our setters. Now, they are a little bit scuffed up where I wore them out of the store. I mean, just as soon as I put them on, I knew I was in love with them. Because they're so comfortable. Um... So, right there's $144. Um, electrical hazard, steel toe, waterproof. I didn't want insulated boots. I did not want to uh, spend a whole bunch of money on $250. Y'all know what boots are worth. Um, I didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money on a set of boots, so we just happened to be in there because the kids needed some shoes, and I found these. These are Irish Setter, and they are absolutely so comfortable because both my arches and my feet are broke, so these have super amazing support, support in these. So this is kind of like an unboxing and a review video. I wanted to post this video for y'all. So, one, y'all know I'm always working on stuff. So they're getting bent and banged off of trailers and covered in diesel fuel and oil and hydraulic fluid and all these kinds of things. Um, always using brake clean and stuff when you're working on brakes and all that kind of stuff. So, long story short, I seen these boots and it's my birthday next month well actually in two weeks so they had them on sale so my girlfriend went ahead and bought me this pair of boots so I was like okay I'll give them a try I mean I've got a pair of Chippewas and I love my Chippewas don't get me wrong but with Carolinas and Chippewas, do y'all always have a problem with this breaking right here? Right in the center of your boot when you're bent over working on stuff, how it pinches over or it breaks up here or the sole starts to come loose right here. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're older pair of boots, but I just want to see how good these almost $100, $130 cheaper boots hold up. I mean, they got, let me get this one sec. They got great tread on the heel and everything. Your little instructions telling you what's on them, how long they've been in business, blah, 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 blah. So, I can't remember if the lady said it was six months or a year, something like that. They have warranty on the stitching. If the stitching blows out or comes off or something like that, they'll either repair them or replace them. Which is pretty awesome in my book. So, I mean, really, what's it going to hurt to try these? My other pair are slap out. Uh, when I was up at the farm brush hogging, I actually run. I was off the tractor, and they're so old that I actually run a stick through the bottom of them. So that ruined them completely. And... I just wanted to show you all these boots. Um, it's got the extra notch there for your ankle. Plus, it's got the top um, thread hole, I guess is what you would call that. It's got the top one up here. But I've always liked these kind of boots. And these are just a nice boot if you need a nice boot for church or whatever you want to wear them for. Or just a nice boot in general. But like I said, 
Y'all know I'm hard on boots because I'm always in diesel fuel and oil and all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to post this video so I can, six months from now, I can show you how they're doing and how they're holding up. And they are waterproof. I don't remember if I said that. But see if the waterproof is still holding up good in them. Um, prevention is always the key. I don't care if they say they're 100% waterproof. You can keep camp dry on them or something like that just to help them stay watertight. Because there is nothing worse than brush hogging and uh, we're cutting trees in the winter time for firewood and always wet feet. That is the most miserable thing when you still got two more loads you got to get out of the woods before it's quitting time. And I mean I absolutely love them. I am excited to do... A six month review and then I'll do a year review and if they're still holding up good at that time I'll do a longer review um, matter of fact we're getting ready to come up on another pair of boots that I done the muck boots but anyway so I just wanted to show y'all what they was about and everything I've heard about their customer service is really good so we'll put them to the test and and this is not endorsed or nothing by them this is our own hard-earned money i just wanted to show y'all and just be able to give you all a review and um how like how the insoles hold up just you know i beat and bang on boots really bad so I figured this would be a good video to help someone decide whether or not they want them or not. Or review videos. Well, y'all have a great day. And like always, this is Adam. And stay tuned if you like these videos. I got some more videos coming about the house. And I got some new stuff coming from the, for the John Deere. It should be in Thursday of this week. Um, and it is currently... September the 13th of 2020. So, we'll do a six month review and go from there. Y'all have a great day. God bless. Don't forget to be nice. And like always, like and subscribe. Comment if you'd like. And y'all have a great day. And God bless. This is Adam. Bye.